Well, that sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. We've officially reached the end of an era. Maybe the best era in gaming. Xbox 360 store is officially closing down on July 29th, meaning you have just over a month from recording to make any last minute purchases before the opportunity is gone for good. And just to clarify, yes, your purchase content will remain available for download, but you cannot buy games or DLC after July 29th. So come with me as we take one last look at the Xbox 360 store and reflect on the best generation in gaming history. Consider a like and sub if you haven't done so already. So although everybody knows that I'm much more of a PlayStation fan, I have a soft spot for the 360 above all Xbox consoles. The seventh generation in general is my favorite generation to date. Like, there's a huge nostalgia factor at play, but... I mean, look at what we were a part of. Look at what we got to witness. The PS2 wiped the floor with the Xbox, the GameCube, and anything else that tried to get in its way. Then the 360 came out swinging and maintained a solid lead in sales until the very end of the console war. Look at what we had. We had Halo 3, Reach, ODST, all the Gears of War games, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Dragon Age, The Saboteur, Sleeping Dogs, Skyrim, LA Noir, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1-3, Black Ops 1-3, World at War, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Bad Company 1-2, Mass Effect, Resident Evil, Fear, Far Cry, The Last of Us, Bioshock, Borderlands, GTA 4 and 5, Red Dead Redemption, and good god, the list just keeps going. And we're not even talking about PlayStation exclusives. I mean, many of the games that we're talking about right now were still being remade or re released two console generations later. Now, be that due to the lack of creativity and revolution in the games industry, or the games being that good is up for debate, but the impact of this generation is unquestionable. And if we weren't spoiled enough with high quality stories, this generation saw the climax of couch co-op games with many of the previously mentioned games being included. Yeah, believe it or not, we used to pay $60 for a complete or nearly completed game, get a solid story, unlockables from avatar cosmetics to in-game content, get multiplayer and couch co-op, with many games coming with other little freebies just to show appreciation for you spending your dollar with them. From the midnight releases of Grand Theft Auto 5 to the sleepless nights waiting on DLC for Black Ops 2 to download and play for a couple hours before heading to school, and enjoying time with people in real life, eating terrible food, and playing great games. I doubt we'll ever see another generation as impactful as this, but damn, I'm glad I was there for it all. With that rambling out of the way, I guess we can go ahead and get in here and take a look at the Xbox 360 store one last time. This isn't fresh and new to me like it is probably for many of you. We've actually been using this Halo Reach 360 to stream Gears of War for the past week or so. With that being said, the UI in this does feel so good. It, it still has a bit of a modern feel, but it's still archaic in some ways. I'll explain as we go along exactly what I mean. You have the home screen, of course, with your open trays, of course, gold options. If you have uh, Xbox Live Gold, I'm pretty sure there's different stuff that pops up here. I think your free games would pop up here if you have that. Pin stuff, uh, apps, games, all of that. Your social. This is one thing that I do kind of miss that was huge in this era, like especially with the Wii coming out. Um, gamer score. I used to track gamer score heavily, like I used to be a bit of an achievement hunter. This is a relatively new profile that I created within the past several years. I lost access to my old account because I lost access to the old email and that was a whole ordeal. But like I had touched on earlier, you could actually unlock cosmetics for your avatar just by playing games. And of course they had options to buy stuff. If we hop into the avatar store real quick, we'll see what some of the major trending stuff is. So the front page, what what is that? One Piece, Penny Arcade, MLG, Man of Steel, Gears of War. They had some pretty unique stuff in here. I know way back in the day, one of my friends had like a full Gears setup. Yeah, we used to love Gears of War. Me and my neighbor used to play it all the time. I'm pretty sure that he had several of these items. I know that he had the Gears of War Edition 360 with the Gears of War controller, mat. That thing was so nice. I miss the custom consoles like this. Like you won't be able to hear it really over the video, but turning on the Halo Reach 360 and pressing the eject button, it's got the custom sounds. Like They don't do stuff like this as far as I'm aware. This is like an older thing, kind of a relic of the past. I wish that they would bring back. I don't even play my PlayStation 5, but I'd love to have like a custom God of War PS5 or... A Halo Xbox, so when you turn it on, it does a bit of a Halo theme or something. That would be crazy. Yeah, full customization over your avatar. You can see your awards. If you're playing games, you unlock different awards. This is one thing that I feel a lot of people are really upset about. Is like This was back when it was focused on gaming and being social. Like 
You had your friends tab to see who was online, quickly join up with them. The next tab over was your games. And then after that comes the movies and apps and everything that they started trying to push to the forefront with the Xbox One. And that was really their downfall. We already know that story, but we're not here for that. So let's hop on here. Of course, you can see your games, your add-ons. Demos was huge during this time, man. Like, being broke, not having money to go out and buy every game as soon as it came out. Demos were huge. I understand why they don't really do it anymore because that's a whole investment for them. But back when they used to actually give a damn about us and marketing strategies were completely different. Demos were absolutely massive. I actually kind of want to hop in here and take a look. Of course, you got some Lego, Forza Horizon, a whole bunch of Lego, actually. Payday 2, Diablo, man. Look at all the... Imagine like some of these triple a releases imagine these coming out now and having free demos that would give you like i don't know 10 15 some of these up to like 30 minutes of gameplay without even having to pay for it there's no way they do anything like that now demos are so hard to find i feel like it's more of a pc thing than anything of course you got modern warfare 3 uh grand theft auto 5 and forza being broadcast on the front page we're going to hop into the store. Now, if I remember correctly, the store is kind of rough to navigate compared to what you would think it is with modern, uh, with a modern UI. So you've got on demand, you've got your new releases, your most popular, you've got stuff like that. But then when it comes to sorting, it's a bit harder than you'd think it would be to find certain things. Uh, I wanted to get on here and look for sales, right? I wanted to see what special sales they have going on. Where's that at? Or is the sales tab? Thing is, there isn't a sales tab. So let's just go to most popular. Uh, on screen right now, I'm probably going to cover myself up. I'll show you guys a bunch of the games that are on sale right now that actually have decent sales going on. Some of the highlights. Unfortunately, there's no Call of Duties on there. I don't understand how Call of Duty can still charge. What are they charging for the original Black Ops on Xbox 360? $30 for base Black Ops 1 on the 360. That is insane. It's 2024, man. Like, come on. And the store is about to close down. Like, why would you not be giving this away for dirt cheap? Like, get those last little bit of sales that you can. Original Red Dead Redemption. There's no sale on this either, unfortunately. I think this is another one. Yeah, $30. That is just wild to me. Absolutely insane. Gears of War. Gears was like a huge selling point for these consoles. And I guarantee this thing isn't... Yeah. It's not, I'm pretty sure that's its average price. It may have a slight discount. No, because it wasn't on the list. That's just its base price, $12. Fable. Dang, I forgot about Fable. That's a whole nother series. No discounts on it either. Like, the ones that were really pushing out your consoles, man. Come on, get, get these things on discount. Like, look at this. Call of Duty 3. This came out on a PlayStation 2. $20 for a PlayStation 2 game. It's just crazy. Alan Wake is another huge game. Like, that was a whole reason. I know one person that bought an Xbox specifically to play Alan Wake. $20 for that still. No discounts. Rainbow Six Vegas. Man, there's so many good games on this. While we're on the topic of overpriced games and the storefront closing, like, obviously, obviously you're going to be able to buy secondhand games, right? You're going to be able to buy games from people but some of these are just getting so ridiculously expensive it doesn't even make sense when the time comes on the 29th and xbox clo microsoft closes down the xbox store right there's no way to get any of these games new this is where emulation comes in i've got tutorials up on the channel already setting up uh battle sarah setting up modded playstation 3s modding a playstation 2 uh switch ds all this stuff modding new vegas I'm going to show you guys how to set up Xenia on PC. It's an Xbox 360 emulator. Of course, I can't tell you how to uh, navigate your legally obtained ISOs. But I can tell you what to do with those ISOs when you legally obtain them, of course. The games industry is pushing more and more to a digital era. They, they're they cutting costs every way that they can. And one way is to cut physical media out. Cut physical media, push the digital consoles, push your storefronts. Well, what happens when these storefronts go out of commission? They start shutting them down because it costs so much money to keep stuff like this up and running. 
So look forward to that video coming up. I don't really have too much more to say here. I don't really have much more to cover. It's been nice getting to load this thing back up. Hopefully we can all get together on PlayStation 3 sometime soon before those servers start shutting down, the game stores start shutting down. Thank you all for chilling with me. If you like the content, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm your boy Rod Tactics. This has been a final look at the 360 before it shuts down for good. Thank you all for going on this little trip with me. I'm going to catch y'all later.